We've done so much to uh, improve it over the last one. Uh, you know, we've made upgrades to the engine. Uh, it's like streaming, this old geek talk, but uh, you know, the the art, just everything, the story. Um, there's a, a large amount of polish to put on this game that we, you know, didn't have time to put in the last one. Well, I was amazed by this. Some sequences, especially near the end of this game, that become incredibly emotional and are very human and very. It's not just about. You know the game it becomes this really almost like a buddy movie and very kind of emotional and really intense and really human you know and that's what i think is really setting this game apart with the call of duty 4 modern warfare and uh the character i played gaz you know went into xbox live and it was very successful the game was very successful and i was back out in la last year and i had a meeting with the guys and they said listen we really want to develop your the character even more so we're going to do we want you to play this guy called Ghost. It was a pleasure to do it the last time. And then I got a call saying that the characters become iconic. Um, you're not dead. We have three different game modes. We have multiplayer, single player, and then spec ops. Uh, typically, I mean, the, the single player experience is so cinematic. It, it's emotional, it's gripping, it's, it's uh, but, but in the end, what happens is people get hooked on the multiplayer. And, you know, I've talked to guys who've logged in literally 30 days of gameplay just in multiplayer. I have spent quite a ridiculous amount of time on Call of Duty 4. You can check how long you've played, and I've played it solidly for 26 days, which is a terrifying admission. And I'm very close to the divorce of my wife, and I was about to kick it all and leave it, and then this came out, and that's it. I'm, this is the last time I'll be in public for five, six years. It's fantastic. You know, people, I've been walking down the camouflage carpet, and people were saying, can you believe that gaming's come to this, the fact that we're having the premiere of a game that's about to go on sale in Leicester Square. I've got to say, I'm overwhelmed because I never really realised just how big this would become. It's just mad. This music's getting me excited now. I just want to go and shoot someone now. Well, it's like a proper premiere, isn't it? I'm going to shut the whole Leicester Square down. You've got all sorts of bods knocking about. I mean, yeah, no, it's great. It's pretty intense. It's full on um, action all the way. Stay safe. It's not only the biggest games release, it's the biggest entertainment release of all time. It's the biggest event in music, games and DVD that we've ever seen at HMV and I think you know, you'll know you see that worldwide anyway, it's such a massive event. I've been here for 22-ish hours now and um, yeah, it, it's, it's been crazy. I'm going to play it all tonight, just sit up, drink some energy drinks, got some lucky charms as well. <laughs> going to just, you know, just play it all night really, all tomorrow as well. It's fabulously cool online uh, features in it, it's the best. Just relieved and really excited. I can't wait to get home to play this thing, finally. I'm so excited. In fact, I must go now because I've got to go home and play it myself, so. 